What's going on everybody? My name is Tomas and this is my first impressions of the 15 inch Dell Inspiron 7000 gaming series laptop. I wanna preface this video by saying B&H sent me this laptop as a loaner and I've been using it for the past month or so. Another thing for you to be aware of is that this is a gaming machine and I do zero gaming on PC. But I do edit video and some of the best portable editing rigs out there come from the gaming series of laptops offered by manufacturers. So with that being said, I'm going to be looking at this laptop from a video editor's point of view. This laptop features Intel's 6th generation Skylake quad core i7 processors, more specifically the i7-6700HQ, which is clocked in at uh, 2.6 gigahertz with Turbo Boost 2.0 technology, maxing it out or making it available to 3.5 gigahertz. There's 16 gigs of RAM installed on this laptop and it's comprised of two 8 gigabyte uh, DIMMs, DDR3L to be more exact. Now the bread and butter of this Enspron 15 is its dedicated GPU. It packs an NVIDIA GeForce GTX 960M with four gigabytes of GDDR5 VRAM, allowing you to take full advantage of CUDA acceleration when you're editing down your projects on the go. You're getting all this awesomeness for under $900 USD, but because of that price point, you'll be making some sacrifices in the hard drive and screen departments. The 1920 by 1080 display shows its age on this 15 inch laptop and editing with that type of screen real estate is difficult, especially when you're pushing around 4K content, which, this machine has the ability to do without any issue because of all the power behind it. The screen does save some face by being an IPS panel with great viewing angles and the matte finish that deflects light really well. The next thing that is kind of tough to live with is the one terabyte 5400 RPM hard drive, which would be an automatic disqualifier of my recommendation if it wasn't a hybrid, as it features eight gigabytes of flash storage built in, allowing you to quickly access your most used files and applications on your machine. I didn't notice an editing difference with this hard drive when editing files that were larger than eight gigabytes because I use proxies in my workflow. So the editing experience didn't suffer because of the very apparent 5400 RPM storage performance uh, capabilities in this Inspiron 157000 uh, series. It remains to be seen if this bottleneck will uh, be anything in the editing workflow over longer periods of time because I didn't get to keep this laptop for any lo uh, for longer than a month. Bottom line, Dell. 5400 RPM hard drives need to die and stop being used as uh, operating system boot drives. Just stop it. This laptop ships with Windows 10 Home and when browsing internet, answering emails, tracking any kind of news um, and interacting on social media, also consuming media, battery life stood up to the task. You add editing into the mix, battery life was significantly reduced, but it was still workable. Uh, as you know, when you're editing and stuff, it ramps up all of the stuff. So the GPU, CPU, everything. So it's uh, more power hungry when it comes to that. Connectivity of this laptop includes three USB 3.0 ports, and those are type A, uh, one HDMI, a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, ethernet port, a Kensington lock option, and a multi-card reader. Really queuing into the current needs of media professionals on the go. I can easily offload my media from my video devices, PIX, E5H, and SD card cards, uh, no problem. The Inspiron 15 is definitely pointed at gamers and will work well in those environments as there are two integrated speakers paired with an integrated subwoofer, uh, effectively giving you 3.1 surround sound option that's built right into the laptop. And that's awesome and it sounds really good. Ultimately, I wish I could have had more time with the Inspiron 15 uh, 7000 uh, to test it in more detail and give you a more concise and more precise uh, feedback on this uh, video, but this is just my first impressions. From my initial impressions, it's a great editing option and does well with everything I needed it to do in my short time with it. The four gigabytes of VRAM provided by the GTX 960M really made editing tasks go really smoothly uh, through uh, CUDA acceleration. Pair that with the quad core 6700 HQ i7, uh, it made exporting tasks really fly. I mean, I had no problem at all uh, exporting a couple of projects on this thing. Then you pair that with the build quality, which is fantastic. And I have a good feeling that the 7000 will stand the test of time as it is beautifully designed and it feels like it's gonna last quite a while. However, all of this does come with some compromises. The 1920 by 1080 screen resolution is really, really tough to work with, especially if you edit and shoot 4K projects. It's workable, 
but it's not desirable. I will say I really like the matte display as I absolutely cannot stand or live with glare. The hard drive is another issue I have with this laptop. If I was able and I was going to keep this machine, and with the prices of flash storage, I would definitely swap out the magnetic hard drive for an SSD immediately. Big thanks to B&H for sending out this loaner and allowing me to take a closer look at it. I'm sad to see it go back. If you're interested in seeing uh, current pricing and availability, hit the link in the description of this video. Well, that about does it for me in this one. If you like this video, please feel free to give me a thumbs up. If not, hit the other one. I'm Tomas and I'll catch you in the next one.